Okay, good afternoon everyone. Um, today we are having a slightly different kind of lecture. We call it a seminar, which means that uh, we, uh, uh, I will be lecturing half the time, but you're also supposed to do some work in between. Uh, the main point is to get you started with uh, the writing of the essay. Um, before we start, some of you have asked me about the videotape from last, the last lecture. And uh, uh, as I understood, it was some uh, technical difficulties there, uh, but it will be uploaded uh, shortly, uh, I was told. So hopefully it will work better this time. Uh, this is a bit uh, new for most of us. We're not used to be television stars. So uh, let's see uh, how it works. Uh, I know that uh, a few of you have already started thinking about topics for the essay. And that's good. And the, and the main thing today is to, uh, to uh, get you started. And uh, uh, the first thing you have to do is to hand in uh, your selection of the topic and so on. But we'll come back to that. Some of you may have read this already. It's been uploaded in front for, for some time. This is uh, a small sort of guide to um, writing an essay. Uh, it's mainly based on the experiences that I have from tutoring uh, student papers like this, but I've also borrowed some uh, material from colleagues. And, and basically, what we are going to talk about today will be covered in this um, little booklet. Now, um, Let's just repeat, we, we mentioned in the first lecture a little bit about uh, what you're supposed to do, uh, the framework of the essay or the obligatory coursework. Um, as we said, students should work in groups of two or three. I've given a, a, a couple of exemptions for students who, who are uh, distant students and, and things like that to, to hand in individually. But this is the general rule, two or three together. And uh, the length of the essay will be somewhat different, uh, depending on whether you are two students or three students. Uh, we do not have any specific requirements with respect to the character types or, or margins and things like that. Instead, we have said that it should be between six and eight thousand words if you're two together, or ten or twelve thousand words. A full written page would be in the area of three to four hundred words. So this would then convert into some 15 to 20 pages and a little bit more in the latter case. Now, this is an important bit of, of this uh, course. Uh, it gives you the basic idea is that uh, you get training in what we call academic writing, but it's also an opportunity for you to dig deeper into one of the subject areas of the course. The, the contents of this course is fairly broad and we just touch upon a lot of different subject areas, but uh, you have the possibility here to find a particular subject that you want to analyze further. There are only two important deadlines that you need to relate to here. Uh, first, you're supposed to hand in the outline by September 25. There is a dedicated folder in the front room for this, and you upload it there. There is also a prepared Word uh, form that you fill in. So you don't have to write anything from scratch. You just fill in the names and student numbers and your tentative title. You can change the title if you, if you like later on, but your first title and a few words uh, about your ideas um, for this subject. After you've done that, we will uh, review it and we will approve it, maybe give you some feedback and tips on, on how you could proceed. And you will also be assigned one of the two lecturers as your tutor for, for this process. The final deadline is November 30. Um, do any of you have exams prior to that, earlier than the th November 30? No, okay, that's good. 
So what if you want to have um, a thorough feedback on your paper before you hand it in, you must do that early enough. Uh, I would say around November 1, uh, first draft. It doesn't have to be complete, but as long as you've come, you can send us this and we'll give you some thorough feedback. We might need a week or so to give you the feedback and then you should have a couple of weeks to, to correct things or, or to amend it. So this is an offer that you have, but, but don't send us just a few days before the deadline, then there's no use for us to, to give you uh, a thorough feedback. Okay. Uh, the only accepted way of handing it in, the final one at least, is, is to upload it in the relevant folder in Fronter. This is for two reasons. First, this is an official part of your exam, so we need to keep uh, good track of who has handed it in and so on. Uh, and the second reason is something I will come back to, that uh, this will also be run through a database for plagiarism checking. It might be to s start in the wrong end of the process to talk about the assessment criteria. Uh, by assessment criteria, I mean what the examiners uh, will put their emphasis on when they are evaluating your paper. But it could be all right to have a look at this in the beginning, because it means it, it could give you some guidance on, on how to proceed. Of course, um, the focus uh, should be good uh, and well related to the topic selected. If you have a title and 50% and, and of your paper is about something else, this is not good, of course. Then the main point is the understanding and the analysis. Is the essay analytical? What could we mean by analytical? What is the opposite of analytical? Any ideas? Analytical, it comes from analysis, of course. And what is, what it, if the paper is not analytical, what is it then? Once again, please. Just informative? Informative, yeah. Descriptive. It's very, uh, informative is good as well. And that's just writing about something, whereas we are looking for having some sort of a research angle, research question, something that you want to analyze, a problem. Uh, we were just discussing before uh, the break a proposition uh, about um, uh, a topic, and, uh, and this is what we discussed there, because it's the first thing when you start to select a topic is that I want to write about this, this area. But then the second step should be to uh, what is interesting here? What, what is it that we could analyze? Uh, what kind of questions could be asked in this area? And this is quite important here. This is something that we will look for. Does it analyze something and not just describe it? Does it show that you have a critical understanding and interpretive skills, that you're able to ask proper questions and to analyze them? And then the next, next checkpoint is um, the use of references and sources. And does it show that you're able to use uh, good sources, pieces of evidence, and with proper referencing techniques, meaning that you always say where you've got the information from and that you have chosen the right sources to base your analysis on. Finally, it's about the, the tidiness, the structure, uh, but you have done this a fair amount of time. My experience is that this has gotten better and better with students over the years. So uh, most students are able to, to put this up in a, in a proper way. Although um, writing a research style paper like this is something slightly different than, uh, than some other texts that you might have seen. But if you check an academic article or a research report, you'll find that they all are sort of structured in the same way. And uh, 
that they have an appropriate language, that any statements that you come, uh, come up with are well supported by evidence or by a line of argument. It should be, I say, tidy appearance. It should be slightly boring. Not too many colors, different fonts and things like that. Uh, but um, I remember in a different class last year, I said, could I, th this was in the shipping class, could I please have one paper without the picture of a ship on the front? And none of the, the, the handed in ones had a picture <laughs> uh, last year. So um, pictures are all right, but they should be there for a reason. Should illustrate something that you are writing about and not just for decoration. Okay. You don't have very much time, so using the allotted time uh, effectively is important, of course, and avoid writing most of the essay the nights before the deadline. Searching for literature and data is time consuming, more time consuming that you, than you might think. So this is, uh, I would say this is half of the work that you should do. It's just to find the sources, find the information, the good ones, the relevant uh, sources of information. And then you can put up a time schedule where you identify the different jobs that you have to do, the different tasks, um, and then fill in the absolute deadlines that we have and, and sort of create a timetable. It could look something like this. Here I have uh, an example which has the deadline of November 30. And some of the elements of this job is to pick a topic, of course, this is what your first job and it should uh, be finished fairly early, although not as early as this. Search and um, collect literature and read literature. This is about gathering the background information. And uh, here I've suggested that this is approximately half, slightly more even, uh, of the time resources that you have. And then writing uh, would be the other part, of course. Now, some of you might have started thinking about topics already, and in a few minutes uh, I will ask you to try to do some sort of brainstorming around topics. Um, ways of coming up with topics, if you don't have an idea, is of course to read um, a lot about the subject area. It could be, oh, sorry, this is uh, from a different class. Uh, and there are no, I, I haven't made it available the previous essays um, to you here, but I would suggest that you read uh, logistics uh, sources on the internet uh, to come up with what kind of uh, topics might be interesting. You can also come and talk to me and discuss if you have ideas. I would, though, prefer that you, you come with a few ideas of your own, uh, not saying give me an idea, but if you have a few ideas, we could discuss uh, the potential for each of them. Of course, you can discuss with fellow students uh, and so on. Um, this is a fairly limited paper. Um, so the challenge is maybe to make the problem narrow enough to make it interesting. Usually it gets more interesting the narrower the subject area is because you're able to dig deeper um, into the area. So, most students start with the too broad topic uh, and then they find out that they need to narrow it down. And it's perfectly all right to do that during the process as well. But um, choosing a topic here to, to, to write about all environmental challenges for, for transport modes, for instance, is a too broad subject for this. You will need to pick one topic within that area and try to address it properly. It's also a point that you, you make um, the heading or the research question uh, such that uh, it reflects an arguable point, something that isn't self-evident and has some kind of controversy or novelty attached to it. Uh, basically, that's, that it's interesting to a reader. 
I have already said it should be well focused, not too big. Uh, that it's uh, relevant to what you plan to do, that's the title. And points to what's original, interesting or unusual about your particular argument. Basically, you can just check it and the reader should want to read your work. If you have a good and interesting title, uh, it will uh, attract the reader as well. Okay, enough talking for now. Now it's your turn. Some of you have already thought about subjects. Some of you don't have an idea, I guess. Um, so you will have different starting points here. I want you now... This first one is individual, one by one. Or you can, if you already have agreed to work together with a fellow student and you, have a, you would like to do this one in groups, that's up to you. But for now, it doesn't have to be the final subject. The ba basic idea for the next 10 or 15 minutes is just to do some sort of a brainstorming what could be potential subjects. And if you have an idea of what you're writing about, you can try to develop it further. And then we will, after that, sort of collect some ideas and discuss them a little bit uh, in the class. Okay, you may use this room or you may go outside, but uh, in case you do that, uh, we should start again at, let's say, at 10 to 2 in 15 minutes. If some of you want to use a bigger sheet of paper for, for a mind mapping thing, you can have that here. Okay, so now it's 15 minutes of work. <laughs>